is the new Sistar S30 an upgrade compared with the Sistar S50? This is the most common question I've heard about the new Sistar S30 Smart Telescope from ZWO. In this video, I will compare the specs from the two telescopes and uh, discuss the key differences between the two to be able to answer this question for you. You can see in this table behind me the full specifications of the Sistar S30 and the Sistar S50 that you can check in detail. You can pause the video or take a print screen. And let's begin with the next image where I've selected the key differences between the two and discuss more on this subject. And we will start with the most uh, obvious one, the price. As you can see here, the Sistar S50 is available now at a pre-order price of 349 US dollars and the Sistar S50 at 499 US dollars. And this was the first indication that the Sistar S30 might not be an upgrade to the Sistar S50. Because if a brand will sell two products and one is much cheaper than the other or uh, significantly cheaper, it's hard to believe that that can be an upgrade to the other. So we have the first indication, the price, that makes me think that the Sistar S30 is an alternative product to the Sistar S50. Price of the Sistar S30 is so affordable that most of the people will be able to buy it. And this is a big advantage that makes astrophotography much more affordable, having the possibility to buy an entry-level smart telescope at this price it can get more people to start uh, enjoying astrophotography and astronomy and also can be perfect for uh, a present being not so expensive. Let's move fast to the next uh, difference, the weight and size. The S30 has only 1.65 kilograms weight and is also much shorter than the Sistar S50 and is similar to a bottle of soda. The telescope and tripod included weights about 1.8 kilograms and the Sistar S50 without any tripod weights about 2.5 kilograms. So regarding weight and size, the Sistar S50 is made also to be lighter and much more portable compared with the Sistar S50. We also see a difference in color is painted white and black and the um, Sistar S50 black. However, here in my background image, it has some uh, blue tint because photo was taken with the blue sky behind. Now let's talk about aperture and focal length. The new Sistar S30 Smart Telescope has lower aperture compared with the Sistar S50. It does have 30 millimeters aperture instead of 50 millimeters and also has 150 millimeters focal length instead of 250 millimeters. This means the Sistar S50 has the larger aperture and focal length. Sistar S50 is able to resolve better details to have better looking stars in the images. Especially when zooming in, I think we will notice the differences between the two. Here in this situation, the Sistar S50 definitely has the edge. And this is, I think, the main reason that the Sistar S50 is more expensive because the aperture and focal length are the most important features of a telescope. So even if the aperture and focal length is uh, higher on the Sistar S50, the focal ratio is the same. Both telescopes come at a focal ratio of f5. This means they will collect the same amount of light through the lenses. And the Sistar S30 will have also a wider field of view. And this is a plus for the Sistar S30. And let's go now on a field of view simulation to show you what's the difference in field of view between the two telescopes. Here we have a simulation with Andromeda Galaxy. The larger image is the field of view that we can obtain with the Sistar S30 telescope. And the smaller image here in the center is the field of view that we'll have with the Sistar S50. We do have a larger field of view with the S30 that is an advantage and it will be able to, to capture also larger portions of the night sky. Also both telescopes have mosaic mode that will allow them to capture even more portion of the sky. 
we've seen the field of view and let's talk a little bit also about image resolution in arc seconds per pixels. We'll take a look now on astronomy tools and uh, check the CCD suitability. We have uh, here a resolution of 2.39 arc second per pixel for the Sistar S50 Smart Telescope that has 250 mm focal length. Both telescopes have the same uh, pixel size, 2.9 microns. So the, re the focal length here will give us the final result in resolution. The Sistar S30 has 150 mm focal length and 3.99 arc second per pixel resolution, almost 4. The smallest number is the better one. In this situation, we'll be able to obtain better details with the Sistar S50. The Sistar S30 and the Sistar S50 both have the same uh, focal ratio of f5, meaning that we'll get the same amount of light through the lens. The difference will make now the sensor and uh, the Sistar S30 does have a newer sensor that should give slightly cleaner images regarding the signal to noise ratio, the noise present in the final images. And to be able to see better the differences between these two sensors, we'll check two cameras on the ZWO website. And here we have the ASI 462 that has the same sensor with the Sistar S50. And here we have the ASI 662 MC that has the same sensor with the Sistar S30. IMX 662 sensor that is uh, part of the S30 Smart Telescope has the same resolution and size with the IMX 462 from Sistar S50, also 12-bit ADC, also the same pixel size, and the main differences are in read noise, full well, and QE quantum efficiency. Now let's begin with the read noise. On the new sensor, the 662, we have a lower read noise compared with the Sistar S50 sensor. And we can check the read noise section to see exactly the numbers. The images captured with the Sistar S30 will be slightly better regarding noise. After testing similar sensors, the one with the DOS 3 that has even less noise than the 662 IMX sensor, and looking at the images side by side, I didn't notice any differences, only small differences in PixInsight script that uh, it calculates the signal to noise ratio. However, I don't think we'll be able to observe this difference when combining images together. I think both telescopes will give us very good images, even if we have an upgraded sensor on the S30. We do have a higher full well with the newer sensor, and this means that the pixels will be able to get more light compared with the older sensor in S50. And this is more important when, you, when we are doing long exposures of four or five minutes and we get a lot of light. So the stars will look also better in long exposures and will not lose color or will not get bloated. However, having low exposures of 30 to 30 seconds, I don't think this feature is uh, of any big importance to our comparison. And we'll move to the quantum efficiency. And here the new sensor does have a little bit better quantum efficiency, meaning it will be able to capture more photons in the same time compared with the older sensor in the S50 Smart Telescope that has 89 quantum efficiency and the new one has 91. So also here a very small difference. Now I think we summed here the differences in the imaging sensor and I might give more details in another video, a more in-depth comparison between these smart telescopes. Now let's continue with a very important difference between these two smart telescopes, the dual camera system on the Sistar S30. So comparing with the Sistar S50, we have two cameras on the new Sistar that will allow us also to capture images and videos horizontally, not only vertical. And now looking at the camera specs, we do have also another difference in a video recording the Sistar S30 is able to image with 25 and 30 frames per second in 1080p 
compared with 11 or 12 frames per second of the sister S50. So we do have here also an upgrade on video recording, we'll be able to have faster frame rate. Besides this, we'll be able to use the secondary lens, the wide field lens to capture better terrestrial views, landscapes, and also the sister S30, it will be good for bird tracking. It has also an auto capture feature. We can see also on the website that is able to auto capture and track birds. And I think these features are inspired from the Dwarf Lab smart telescopes that can also auto capture and track birds. And probably ZW wanted a similar telescope at more budget friendly, more uh, entry level, and to have some extra new features compared with the S50. You'll be able to use also for uh, scenery. And we do have here more uh, examples on the website of the dual lens system. Unfortunately, looking on the specs, we do not have options for long exposure astrophotography for the secondary wide lens, like we do have on the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. So this means we will probably not be able to capture the Milky Way with the wide lens, only terrestrial views. The maximum exposure time will be maximum or less than 200 milliseconds on the wide lens and for the telephoto lens we have about the same exposure we have the same exposures like the sister s50 10 20 and 30 seconds and for a previewing we have 0 0.5 seconds exposure time for the sister s30 smart telescope and i believe these were the most important differences between the two we do have also final slewing on the sister s30 that has a minimum one time slew rate versus s50 20 times. We finish now with the main differences between these two smart telescopes, the sister S30 and S50. We do have the major difference in price, some new features as you notice on the sister S30 and some better features on the S50 like larger aperture and focal length. Well, these were the major differences between these two smart telescopes, the sister S30 and the S50. Please do let me know in the comments below uh, what you, do you think. Is the S30 an upgrade to the Sister S50, a downgrade or something else? In my opinion, I think the Sister S30 is an alternative of the Sister S50, a more affordable telescope to start astrophotography, is targeted to a wider audience. And I cannot uh, say that's an upgrade because it has a lower focal length and lower aperture that will uh, give us less details in our images, even if it does have some extra new features compared with the S50 and also newer sensor. Regarding price, I think the current 349 price tag is very good for what the S30 offers and for the feature that it does have. So this is my thoughts about uh, the Sister S30 and uh, compared with S50. I think the Sister S30 is a very good option for starting astrophotography on a very good and affordable budget, giving a lot of features and very good uh, quality for the price. And I think this is the main reason of the differences between the two, the difference in the price and uh, specifications features i believe zw wanted another telescope more affordable and easier to start astrophotography because it will be easier to buy a telescope at 350 dollars than at 500 dollars so please let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below hope i didn't forget anything and you find this video useful and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button, it helps the channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new and do want to give big thanks to all the channel members that are supporting the channel, it means a lot. And of course, if you want to support the channel too, hit the join button and get access also to Master Photography data. And until next time, hope I see you soon and clear sky.